Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and welcome back. Today I'm sharing my collection on the middle shelf of this wardrobe. The other day I shared the Sewing Notion shelf. It has already changed. I will share the changes in a vlog. It's not a lot, but I thought you'd like to see. I also found some things on the other shelves that I thought would make sense up there. So the top shelf is very easy to call my Sewing Notion shelf, but the middle shelf and the shelf underneath, a little bit more um, random. So what I've noticed is there is a lot of this dusty pink uh, floral pictures. And I do have, I think, most of the things that are made in France on this shelf. So let's start in the back first. I have this drawing that I purchased from a student. I used to run an art auction at school as a fundraiser, and this was a piece that I got that year. I did have it matted and I had it in both of my classrooms and recently decided to bring it home because I could tell it was fading. You can see the dark gray edge and then look at the color behind the background. It's faded a lot. So a little bit safer in here, well, a lot safer in here, and it creates um, some height in the back, but without something that's three-dimensional. I have one of my new perfume boxes. It's a rose box. I've got an atomizer. Um, it is actually a pale pink milk glass piece, and it was $4 at a church rummage sale. Probably one of the few sales my husband has ever been to with me. This was years and years ago, and he treated me to that. It's sitting on top of one of two pink pianos. The one in the back is plastic. It's got rhinestones, so that creates some height. And the one in front is a frosted pink uh, piano, and the lid comes off. And originally it had a candle in there, so I removed that, and now it's just a nice little riser or trinket box. I have one of my moths. Um, I had purchased a lot of button hooks. I also purchased a lot of vanity items that were rusty. So I removed the rusty part and what was left with the sterling base and I thought it looked like a bug body. So all I did was create some wings out of paper and fabric and glue them on. Pretty simple. I do have a tutorial that I shared probably back in October making a moth. Not this one but something exactly like it. Same process. These items are on top of one of those wire plastic coated shelves. And what I've done is put some lace on top to camouflage that and then added some mirrors so the small things could sit and not fall through the cracks. I have some pink shabby chic dollhouse furniture and pulled out some little figurines to display there. This piece here is a really cool find that I got at Goodwill for $2. Uh, it has a pink velvet tufted middle part and I have some of my pins in there. In the back is an oval frame. I love oval frames. I just, I enjoy the shape and I like filling them up with photographs, but also little artwork and collage pieces. So that's a Victorian die cut on top of some sheet music. Uh, it's actually handwritten. And then underneath, I spelled out J'adore. To create a little bit more height, I have those uh, shoe stretchers. Found those at Goodwill, and they were covered in pink velvet. Somebody, I feel like, did that handmade. It's kind of amazing how perfect they fit. And I tied a little lace on top for some embellishment. I have another one of my moths. That one um, was the first one that I did. I've got tape measure and string. I just wrapped that around some scrap fabric, paper and lace for the wings, em embellished it, and then used some little like corsage, corsage pins as the antenna. And the legs on both are gold paper clips. In front, I have these Chanel bottles. They are my friend Sally's, and Sally had probably shared pictures online on Instagram, and Sally is a reseller on eBay. And when those popped up, I purchased them right away. And her name on uh, eBay is La Maison Belle Vintage. In the front, I just have a little velvet, um, I guess necklace display piece. So I've put a necklace on there. And actually that little piece, funny enough, I had really wanted one of these hand painted pins or brooches. 
found this at the antique store and I think it was 50 cents. It's in a vintage box that's from the flea market. The lid is just tucked behind and in it I have what I think are um, French wallets. They're like marked made in France. They're mother of pearl that are calling card cases because I googled it and you can see that they're very thin on the inside so I think that's what they are. I got these at the thrift store when it was closing and this thrift store does estate clean out so they get lots of older stuff and they were marked kind of high because they were made in France but as the store was downsizing to one location things drastically went on sale 50% off then all the way down to five dollar fill a bag um, so that's when I think I got these and we have this one here so you can see a little issue which I don't mind. Um, and part of the reason why they have an issue is why I can get it for less expensive. So that one says made in France. These have the mother of pearl. This one's got a rhinestone embellishment. So I put a little calling card in there. And then this was an estate sale find and it's a match safe. It's got the shell. It's got the little texture there. So I just house all those together. Behind that, I have more of those perfume boxes that I just picked up with a, a photograph of my daughter in a thrifted frame. Another perfume box just giving some height to those shoe stretchers or shoe, shoe forms. That's a tongue twister in there. And let me move this perfume bottle. You would have seen that recently in a estate sale haul. Little Nina, was it Nina Ricci? In the back, I have a presentation box and it's that kind of peachy pink velvet. I glued a mirror to the back because um, it had like a little logo I wasn't crazy about. And I have this sculpture displayed. This is another piece from a student. Let me pull it out. So she was a dancer and she created a series about movement. I just think it's elegant and graceful and it's done um, just with watercolor on top of the clay. I have this pedestal. It's very pretty. It's Limoges, but the neat thing is the bottom says it was made for a local, I think, department store or store. So I just love that connection. Inside, I have a sachet that I made. I made a few of these out of monogrammed handkerchiefs and linens and put uh, lavender in there. And then I've just put this little sequined wallet, purse, and layered a perfume bottle in there. And then I have these books. These books are really neat. They're, I believe, um, from Paris. Maybe one is from Brussels. Picked those up at an estate sale and they are full of postcards with images. But the thing that I love the most is just the covers. This was also from the estate sale that I got two of these uh, postcard books from. And in it, I just have this buckle. This is probably my favorite buckle. Got that at the thrift store and then this uh, little album souvenir. This looks like um, Lily of the Valley. And if you open it up, it is little pull-out pictures of France. And that also was from my same favorite thrift store. And then this little pillowcase. So thanks for watching and I will see all of you in another video. Bye.